In this session, we are going to look into thread and synchronization using locks that we theoretically discussed in our last session. What I have here is the account class. It has a private variable balance which is going to hold the balance at any given point of time. There is a property called balance which gets the current balance. There is a constructor which takes starting balance amount as parameter and initializes the private variable balance with that amount. There are two methods, bill pay method and wire transfer method. The bill pay method takes the amount of bill pay, pay as parameter and deducts that amount from the balance. And wire transfer method takes the wire transfer amount as parameter and deducts that wire transfer amount plus wire transfer fee from the balance. The wire transfer fee is constant of $5 at this point. You would wonder about these while not start loops. These are placeholders for practical scenarios wherein uh, the bill pay method for example would do some validations such as the balance is greater than the bill pay amount then it might even do validations such as uh, the pay uh, is a valid pay and all the required pay information is available in the system etc etc similarly the wire transfer uh, method would also do the validations such as uh, the account is eligible for uh, or enabled for wire transfer and the uh, uh, destination account information uh, is available uh, and we have in a balance etc etc so right now we don't have all that lo logic here in lieu of that logic we have put this while not start loops uh, and the reason for these loops is uh, to take some time at the start of the thread and then make both the threads land on the next statement which is the balance calculation statements almost simultaneously and that we are going to achieve that by setting the start flag to true and when we set true both these threads are going to uh, proceed to the next statement almost at the same time. I am saying almost because it's not go going to be exact and the reason for that is although this while not start looks like one line here if you go to disassembly and look at the machine instructions it's going to be multiple instructions and both of these threads are not going to start exactly at the same time so they are going to be little you know couple of instructions maybe uh, away from each other so when we set the flag the start flag they are not going to detect this flag at the same time so they are going to be one or two instructions uh, behind or for uh, ahead of each other so that's why also we are not going to hit the scenario that we are trying to create uh, which is to create a scenario wherein both the accounts get the starting balance at the same time and both deduct the transfer amounts and both try to write the ending balance and one thread overwrites the other thread and that scenario happens only if both the threads get the starting balance at the same time and that is not not going to happen all the time in spite of our best efforts here to reproduce that scenario so let's see how we are we actually reproduce that scenario so in this main function i have this infinite while loop herein i am creating an account object and uh, start with the starting balance of 1000 i am creating the bill pay thread and the wire transfer thread i am starting the bill pay thread and passing the bill pay amount of 100 i am starting wire transfer thread with the amount of 495 so we are uh, going to uh, you know um, transfer totally 495 plus 5 dollar fee which is 500 plus 100 uh, which is 600 from the thousand dollars so we should expect remaining balance of 400 uh, which is the correct correct balance anything other than 400 is going to be wrong now here we are introducing a sleep of 10 milliseconds and reason for that is when we start both of these threads uh, then uh, operating system needs some time to initialize threads and uh, start the threads and jump into the thread and then thread is going to push things like uh, amount parameter on the stack uh, stack is going to be initialized then thread is going to proceed to the next statement etc etc et that takes time so we are giving this 10 milliseconds time lag so that both the threads reach this while not start uh, uh, point in the in their uh, execution 
and once they reach there we set the start flag to true so that both the threads together fall to the next statement and then we wait to join both the threads because uh, we want to get the ending result so we are going to wait for both the threads to end and then we are going to get the account balance and display it on the screen so let's see what happens now let's build it and let's run it and you see most of the times the balance is 400 but in between couple of times you saw different amount if you scroll up you see here you see one figure which is 900 here you see couple of figures you see one 900 here Okay, there was one more incorrect amount which was 500 here. So you see that in spite of our best efforts, the balance is correct most of the times and that's because one thread is getting ahead of another thread and it's completing its operation and then the next thread is getting the correct balance and doing the correct calculation and writing the correct ending balance. But only once in a while we are getting this scenario wherein both the threads are getting the balance at the same time and overwriting each other's results. So that's the reason uh, these threading issues if they happen in practice they are very very difficult to reproduce and very very difficult to find uh, the root cause because they are so uh, difficult to uh, you know um, uh, reproduce. So as you saw in the last session the way to fix that is using the lock so let's put a lock there is a statement called lock and we put this next statement we can either put in the curly brace or we could we don't actually need it because it's just one statement but let's just put it so we are going to put in the uh, the statements that we uh, want to execute under lock inside the lock now the question is what are we going to lock on because in last session we saw that we need something to lock on and the thing we, we can use is a reference to any object we have two options here we can just you know um, declare one object called uh, lock object equals new object and then use that lock object to lock and we need to lock both those threads so let's just build it and let's run it now you would see it will go on and go on and go on and all the time it will produce correct result which is 400 and that is what we achieved we achieved the synchronization using the locks